Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and if you're into Hugs World and today I have a few simple apps for you, five and all, that I think you're going to like. If you can get past the ads, these apps are decent and on top of it, they're all free. Okay, let's check out the first one. The first one is called Picture in a Picture. The picture in the picture I thought was very creative. I thought the developer really got on with this one. Uh, it's a very fun app to play with your photos with. And I'm thinking you're gonna like it. I did. So let's say you got different filters you can go through. Now choose which one you wanna, you know, put your picture in. And I like this one. So we're gonna choose that one. You go ahead, you hit uh, the shutter button, take the picture. Once it takes a picture, you can change the foreground, you can change the background of it if you like. So there's a lot of customization to this app overall. And if you wanted to, you can just go and choose whatever picture you have in the gallery. Now Paint Lab is, let's say you took a picture of someone or something, you can make it look more fun. So I'm gonna choose that one right there. It's gonna, it's processing it right now. It takes a little time. Okay, there you go. I like that. Very fun app. And you can choose whichever one you want to choose. So once you do that, then you're all good. Just go ahead and post it on Facebook and or Instagram and you're all good. Now collages, you're pretty familiar with collages. And all you have to do is pick four nice, decent pictures. I mean, I got four. Okay. <laughs> and once you pick the four, I don't know if you can see it, but you have different collages you can choose from. Let's choose one. Let's choose that one. So let's, no, nah, not that one. Can't really see that one. Let's choose that one. Okay, so what I like about it is that you can change the effect if you like, which I thought was pretty nice. And you can change the radius if you want to. And the background is what I like most because it gives you tons and tons of different background colors you can choose from to customize it to however you like. This is a pretty bad app. Let's go to the next one. The next one is photo edit. And all it does is you take a picture of a photo and you can edit it. Um, you can choose the different collages you want to choose for it. And you can take a picture for the top and you can also take a picture for the bottom. So it's a picture in a picture app as well that I thought was pretty cool. So the next one is my favorite. This is magazine guys. Now this one you're gonna like. So what I like about it most is once I tap on it I'm gonna choose a photo. Let's choose the misses. You can only choose one photo. Okay so I got the misses down but I don't want it to say best restaurant and I definitely want to put the correct date. So if you so if you do that now you can change the date. You can also change what it says. And I thought that was decent, guys. So that's it for this app. Okay, guys, the next app is going to be called Split Camera. Split Camera, I like. I can see me using this. And what it does is it just splits the shot. That's all. Two different types of pictures you can take, whether it be of yourself, other people, a scene. Now you have the shutter button. That's your shutter button. And you have the timer. You have where you can change it into landscape as well as portrait. And you can do the selfie as well as your rear camera. So I thought this was pretty slick, right? And you can size up however you want to take those pictures. Okay, so right now we're going to do one of the camera and we're going to do another one of the camera close up. And there you go. And that's how you do it. And you can kind of blend them in. So I thought this was pretty tight, guys. Go ahead and make sure you check this app out as well and make sure you hit <laughs> the save button. Okay guys, now if you like this app that's in the background of my phone, this is hot. This one is called 3D Wallpaper. And this one you're going to want to download. Again, like I said, all the apps are free, so this one is definitely free. They have tons and tons of different 3D uh, HD apps. Uh, and they're sharp. They are very sharp. Just pick one. Let's pick that one. Download it. 
hit the download button and you can choose where you want to send it to whether it be you know your home home and lock screen or just lock screen where you want to send it for a contact photo that this is pretty tight guys so let's do home screen all right we're going to set the wallpaper okay and it should be done so let's back up out of here and take a look and see how it looks check that out guys you cannot tell me this is not cold download this one and tell me if you like it okay the next one is going to be called funny sayings ringtone and it's just ringtone with funny uh, people saying funny things so far as the ringtone is concerned and, and you might like it your mother is calling stop what you're doing calm down and answer the phone Okay, so there you go, guys. For free, you can't beat it. It's something different. Go ahead and check this out. Okay, guys, last but not least, the last one is called Flash Alert. It's an old school app with a twist of customization. So let's check it out, right? What I like about it most of all is that you can customize whether you have the incoming calls to flash or the text message or both. Another thing you have is you have normal mode for the flash, you have vibrate, and you have silent. And you also have where you can set whatever notification you want it to flash off of, which is pretty cool. Nice touch. And the battery percentage, when it gets to a certain level, it will then flash to let you know that you need to be charging your battery. Then you have the speed on length, off length. Another thing that I like that's pretty good is the, the blink time for the text message. That's cool. So you can distinguish whether it's a phone call or a text message. I thought that was pretty decent. And this is the star flash. Not bad. And then you have the flash alert schedule. So you can set it to where it doesn't go off and flash and irritate you. But what makes this good is that if you're looking for your phone at night in the dark, it makes it easier to find. And or if you dropped it up under the couch or something like that, all you got to do is cut the lights off, text yourself, call yourself and it'll flash and you can find it guys okay that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and as always i will see you all at the next video take care